if you're postponing something, you're obviously doing something that you don't want to do. If there is something that you really want to do, will you postpone it or prepone it? <laughs> do you see somebody is waiting for someone they badly want to see? Only ten minutes. In the ten minutes, they will look at the watch twenty-five times. Why? They want to prepone it. You're doing something that you don't want to do, so you want to postpone it. I'm asking, why the hell are you doing something that you don't want to do? No, because if I do this, I will get that, I will get that. That's not the point. There's nothing to get in this life. There's really nothing to get in this life. Either you lived this life in a profound and intense manner, or you did not. What will you get in the end? Burying is good for agriculture because human beings make good manure. So in the end, what will happen to you and me? They will either bury us or burn us. That's all will happen in the end. You think something else, they'll give you a prize? Nothing will happen in the end. Only thing is the process of life, how wonderfully did you live, that's all there is. So if you are doing something really wonderful, do you want to prepone it or postpone it? Prepone only. So you must find what is it that you really want to do. If you find that one thing, you will always prepone everything, not postpone. See, when I say well, you should do what you want, I'm not talking about the whimsical things that you want to do. If you really, really look at yourself carefully, somebody thinks I want to play a game, somebody thinks I want to get married, somebody thinks I want to get this education, somebody thinks I want so much money. No, they don't want all these things. They believe if they get to do those things, they will live a life of fulfillment. Suppose you are absolutely joyful right now, then what will you do? You will do what is needed. Only when you are in pursuit of happiness, you are very particular what you should do and what you should not do. When you are an expression of joy, you will do what is needed in the world, isn't it? So this is what needs to happen to humanity. Unfortunately, most of the world is in pursuit of happiness. What this means, they want to squeeze happiness from the world. No, happiness is not in the world, happiness is possible within the human being. If you make this happen, if your life is an expression of your joy, what will you do? We have always been trying to produce good human beings. This is the greatest mistake we've made. We need to produce joyful human beings because joy is an insurance. A human being who is joyful has no needs of his own, he's fine. Wherever you place him, he's fine. He's no more a vested interest. He will do what is needed in the world. Those who are in pursuit of happiness will do what they fancy whether the world likes it or not. Tell me, human action is about creating what is needed now, isn't it? Human action is not about your happiness, you are supposed to be happy. Joy is not a goal by itself, see this is all it is. If your body is pleasant, we call this health. If it becomes very pleasant, we call it pleasure. If your mind is pleasant, we call this peace. If it becomes very pleasant, we call it joy. If your emotions are pleasant, we call this love. If it becomes very pleasant, we call it compassion. If your very life energies become pleasant, we call this bliss. If it becomes very pleasant, we call it ecstasy. If your surroundings become pleasant, we call it success. Only for success, to make the surroundings pleasant, you need the cooperation of many people. But to make your body pleasant, mind pleasant, emotion pleasant, energy pleasant, it's one hundred percent your business. Right now, your body is feeling very pleasant, your mind is feeling very pleasant, emotions are pleasant, your energies are pleasant, surroundings are not so pleasant. Is it such a big problem? You will see how to sort that situation. If you are joyful by your own nature, you are always a part of the solution.